In this episode of a Mobile Home Makeover, we finished the toilet install, finished the vanity install, and uh, finished halfway through to the front and back entrance. Having a moment to reflect, I'm uh, taking some time to um, tighten down the bolts on this tank. I did that by doing some final adjustments on the toilet. Um, it felt like it was a little bit low on low on this side, so I uh, worked around that by pushing down here as I tightened underneath here, allowing me to tighten it up a little bit. They say do not over tighten, but uh, it was a little bit loose. Now I think it feels pretty good. Watch those sound like they're pushing something. I'm ready to do the supply line. Yikes, what is this I just found? I found this little black part and I wonder if it was maybe from in here. I took this part off the back of the toilet. So I checked in here and sure enough, yep, that ring is the same. So that's where it came from. That's on. Now, the moment of truth, we turn this water valve on and see whether the tank fills and all this other stuff. We turn it all the way out and then half a turn back. That's all the way out, half a turn back. That's not leaking, that's a good sign. Tank's filling, first time ever. There it is, water. And water down here. I stuck my hand in the toilet. First time it's ever been used. Might as well be a sink right now. Or is it connected to the sewer? Maybe I should wash my hands. Oh look, we have a sink. Uh, well, I guess, you know, the real test will come at some other moment, but for now... No water gushing out on the floor. That's good. And no water gushing out of there. That was a flush. Okay then. Okay, so it's close, but but not tight yet. I guess this is the after. Here's the basic science of installing the hardware. You have a screw, you have a knob, you put the screw through, or it's actually a bolt. It's not a bolt, it's a machine screw. Interesting. And then, uh, you know, you get it about right. You can't just tighten it up there because you want that to be lined up nice and straight. Ah. So then you go to the back. Tighten it the rest of the way. That's kind of cool. Quite nail that. There we go. You're not going to take much on it. Yeah, you're good. It was cold out last night. Now I'm thinking about Bill's house. Now this box is a little bit too big and that box is too small. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to cut this box down and then cut a door in it and turn it upside down and put it over top of this little guy. All right here it is chopped off and uh, with a little door cut. Just collapses so I figure if he's just going to sleep on top of it I'll just get it in here.
And then here, now we've got a house. Okay, yeah, that's true. That looks an awful lot like a cardboard box on the porch of a mobile home, but what are you gonna do? When in Rome, if you're trying to avoid having it look like a border, yeah. you wanna just like work through sections, you know? In general, it's, I think in general with these type of stones, it's yeah. easiest to just kind of fill it in as you go, just because they're so irregular that it's maybe hard to fit some of the irregular spots afterward, you know? A couple finishing touches need. I need to caulk around the toilet. stuff is not cleaning up nearly as easily as I'd hoped. Indeed, this cleans with mineral spirits, so I'm back with some mineral spirits. Making a little bit of a mess while caulking this edge of the sink using this quick seal ultra. It's going to dry clear. I don't know if we're going to put a backsplash here or not. So I figured drying clear and I'm about to wipe it up. This stuff cleans up easy with water. I'm probably going to do over here with that white stuff. That's really hard to clean up. And there it is. This is actually going to dry clear. So you want to see the caulk on there. Pretty difficult to work back here. where just walk away with the victory I've got. Don't try to get too fancy. That's pretty good. We bought our dryer. They gave us a plug and it's not the right plug. I went to the hardware store yesterday. They don't have the right plug either. So, so I'm going to find one online. 
Uh, so this was uh, the package. The guy asked me not to open the package if it wasn't the right one. And uh, I looked at them side by side. And if you, even if you tip this one upside down, it's still not the right one. That thing is going the wrong way. But lo and behold, I felt around in the package. And uh, yeah, it's the right plug. Whoa, shit! Yeah. Well, that was exciting. That was. Too bad we got oh, it hello. It I did get it on film. Nice. Yeah. Oh. By the way, uh, you want to um, turn off your power before you play with uh, live wires. Why is that? Front uh, entryway, phase one done. Entry pass. What do you think, Bill? I definitely get the sense that these stones are different from these stones. Do you? Thanks for watching. Remember to uh, like and subscribe. Next time is a trip uh, into the big city and uh, some demolition of the other bathroom.